call the uh, March 11th, 2024 meeting of the four of the licensing board to order. First of all, I'd like to start by pursuant to the open meeting law. Any person may make an audio or video recording of this public hearing and may transmit the meeting through any media. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. The City Charter Section 9-18 mandates that all multiple member bodies develop and adopt rules or policy for public comment. We have adopted such a policy, which in short provides for citizen input on licensing board specific matters at the beginning of the meeting. There is a sign-up sheet that is located in the back of the room. I assume no one signed that. Uh, okay, so we'll have uh, agenda item two, lodging house, which is a late filing. Rinaldi Please Operations LLC care of four of property management. Um, this affects uh, 195 Rodman Street, 254 4th Street, 276 4th Street. Um, I believe the, the gentleman here in the front row is here to respond to that. Could you please um, come to the table sure. and give your name and address for the board, please? Sure. My name is uh, Jose Pachon, PSN Peter, A C H O N. Uh, my office address is 251 South Main Street, Fall River. Okay, this is a late filing for a yes, lodging house the same thing. Uh, late filing for a lodging house, all three of them, correct? So you need a lodging license. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> I actually think that there are some. Uh, uh, 254 Fourth Street is not a rooming house. 276 Fourth Street and 274 Fourth Street, so there may be some um, discrepancy there. Okay. Well, I'm just reading the application, but uh, the application does. Uh, note that 254 should be considered 270. Is that what that little note means? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't fill those up, did you? No, he did, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we can get it right with the assessors. It's just tricky with that. Location. Okay. Well, 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 what we can do for purpose of this meeting, because it's a late filing, mm -hmm. is we will take it up to be 195 Rodman Street. 270 will amend the second license application to reflect 270 Fort Street as well as 276 Fort Street. Now, also, I'm sorry to interrupt again. 197, my understanding is that's one, uh, 195, it's supposed to be 197. That's my understanding of it. Uh, but, <coughs> but are you guys filling these out and they're wrong? It's, it's the owner of the property that filled them out, that filled out the. Uh... Okay, well, well. You have to fill out your applications correctly. We're not responsible to have your applications Understood. correct. I'm just making a comment. <clears throat> so all the addresses are wrong. Except for one. Yeah. It appears all of them are wrong except for one. Excuse me? It may yeah, not be wrong. wrong. These are okay. correct? You're right. Correct. They're the ones that are failing okay. to tell the building department of the changes that have been done. Right. It looks like, so, sir, the, the applications are submitted as such. Okay, and you're looking, these are, you're filing these under like a late filing. In other words, in terms of right now, your position is nothing's changing. Nothing's changing in the operation of these buildings? As so of when? I, I, now. I'm, nothing's changing. Okay. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not sure why you. So you, you're filing the application, no disrespect. I understand. I understand. You have to tell us why you're here, not me, not us tell you. I understand. Okay, so go ahead. What, so I'm, I'm trying to help you here by saying you're submitting three applications. The addresses may or may not be wrong, but am I, I'm asking you, so whatever's out there relative to these lodging houses, nothing's changing in, from your perspective? No, sir. Okay. I think we have members of the uh, building department here that would like to speak on this issue. Am I correct? Yes. Mr. Hathaway, could you could you come up and please state your name, address, and title for the board, please? Good morning. Name is Glenn Hathaway, building commissioner with the city of Fall River. Thank you, Mr. Hathaway. Uh, do you have some input on these particular particular applications? Yes, I do. So when you have a lodging house within the city of Four Rivers limits, we annually inspect the, the location and offer a uh, certificate of inspection, which I have three copies here. Address, 276 4th Street, 
274th Street, 195-197 Rodman. Those are all lodging houses. They are all inspected annually by the building department, uh, quarterly by the fire department, I believe, and issued a certificate of inspection for those units, those buildings. Um, they have paid for their certificates in 2023, but they never picked them up and posted them in the building. That's, I don't know if that's this particular owner or I, I think there's a change of ownership here, but somebody is not following protocol. Um, my, uh, my understanding also is uh, one of the buildings I have, uh, <coughs> Inspector Hilario behind me, um, has been converted to more units in the basement area. Uh, without permits. Uh, it seems as though the current owner uh, wants to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it and how he wants to do it. Uh, we had a fire alarm situation over there this last year. Um, we could not, impossible to get a response from the owner. Uh, until I get over there and I offered to vacate the building, uh, that's when the owner responded um, appropriately and fixed the building accordingly. And that was uh, my guess is that's 274th Street, I believe it is, uh, was that particular building. Uh, the owner needs to realize that he's running a lodging house and it's been uh, categorized as, as a lodging house for a number of years. I've been an inspector in the city for almost 11 years and I've been inspecting that property for 11 years. Up until the last couple of years, Frank has done it. But the ownership has changed and they don't seem to uh, run the same ship that the previous owners run. And we need, the, uh, we need this uh, ship to be sailing correctly, vertically, and appropriately in order to keep uh, the buildings up to date. I have a big concern if they have an excess amount of units without getting the proper permits. Correct. I, I, have, I have a problem. Personally, I'm not going to speak for Mr. Pereira. No, I got a question as well. I have I have a problem with that. I mean, if, if, they, if that's an illegal operation of the lodging council, so therefore I'm not going to. Unless I hear different from the city, meaning the building inspector, that we should approve that particular location. I, I, I'm, I'm Can I ask a question? Where are the additional units? So, so I've caught them doing work already there. On those additional units in the in the basement last year in 197 Rodman the front front building yes sir no no the front one 274th Street okay 274th Street 274th yes. Street when I went there there were building walls that were covering sprinkler systems that were no longer doing their job mm -hmm. nobody's come forward and corrected these problems I go there this year to do my inspection now I find out that those units that were uh, used as single room as a dormant mm -hmm. now have been converted into units single units not even lodging home anymore now they're apartments okay so and, and not just that one other ones have been from three floors now only one has a roman uh <coughs> used as a roman house and the other two have been now converted into apartments <coughs> this, this has to be all done with permits and and communication with the building department i'm not saying it's you no i understand but somebody's doing something wrong here sure yeah. I've been there a couple of times and there was numerous times when I was there Mr. Chairman that there was work going on there unpermitted they were told uh, numerous times to get permits and um, to be honest with you I think Frank followed up on some of them but uh, I did not so it's it's uh, under the licensing of this uh, this building um, they need to uh, straighten out and, <coughs> and um, who is the owner of these rooming boards? Uh, sure. Well, it's Rinaldi PZ. It's Joseph Rinaldi and Noah PZ. So you are not one of the one no, of those no, individuals no. you just mentioned. So what is, what is your role here, actually? I are run you? the operations. I'm the property manager. Oh, so you're a property manager. Right. Okay. And uh, who, who is doing the work? Like physically doing the work there's the contractors I think, uh, I think the owner have has some contractors that have done some work there in the last year since 2000 and sometime yeah, in 2023 and now on, let's see 2022 in July of 2022 
And so there's been some work then since 2022. Okay. And continuing to go now, uh, so sir? Just, just to let the board know, we originally had four certs with, with these, with these uh, uh, units. The one on the corner of 4th and Robin Street, since it's been eliminated by you guys, has no more Roman house and converted into apartment units now. 254 4th Street. Legally? Uh, I mean, they, they were caught doing the work at the time. They were told to secure permits for the conversion, but I haven't seen anybody until today. And, so, and they didn't get the permits. Oh, so they didn't get the permits, no. clearly. Yeah. And, and, and you're saying some of these other locations aren't rooming houses anymore? They've no. been converted to apartments? There's still Roman house there because it used to be all three floors, like this one right here. I made notes of it when I went to do my inspections. So, 276 Fourth Street used to be all three floors Roman house. Now it's only one. One floor? Only one floor being used as a Roman house. Is that, is, that legal, is that legal, Mr. Hathaway, to, 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 to bifurcate one building as a room and house in apartments? No, it's not. They need to come in and, and request a change of use for the building yeah. or a change of space uh, for the building, and then we'll make a decision on how, how we proceed. The house that, you're talk, that Frank is talking about in the corner, um, I believe, was used mainly by an office, for an office, with a couple of units in it. Um, by the previous owner. These people brought it over, bought the building, uh, and has continuously done whatever they see fit and how they see fit without uh, no... Does anybody know if there are other residents there now in these extra apartments, the people actually residing there? In uh, 254 4th Street, I believe they are, yeah. And So there were, there were other um, areas made without permits and people are currently residing in those areas. So what are we going to do about that? <laughs> what? Are, and that, that's probably for Mr. Hathaway to answer that question. Well, we need to inspect the property. Yep. And reclassify it for what it is. Yep. Um, if there has been work confirmed, like Mr. Hilario is confirming, uh, we may have to open up walls, mm -hmm. bathrooms. Okay. Uh, for inspections. Uh, I'm, and only gonna, I'm only going to speak for myself. We had a, this special meetings because I was under the assumption this was only a late filing. That's why yeah. I kept asking this gentleman that nothing's changed. Things have obviously changed. Yeah. I, I can honestly say I don't want to put anybody out anywhere, but I, I'm not going to approve any of these. Not today, I'm not. Not without the city of Fall River and, and the proper individuals going out and giving their yeah. blessing on this. At least that's from my standpoint. Yes, I agree. Well, not only that, um, Gary, can we get a police report on the properties too? For the next, obviously, we're going to visit this again okay. for on call the, volume. On all three, yes. yeah, might as well. On for it. call volume, that's they're all. extensive, sir. I could imagine, they I are just extensive. I'd like to see them. Um, I've been called by the police to uh, look into some of the circumstances that's going around there. Uh, I, I believe they vacated some of the problems already mm -hmm. uh, because the calls have stopped coming to me through mm -hmm. the police department yeah, um, yeah if, we, if we could get an actual number from the police department we'd yeah. know concretely they what they are I could I would imagine has, but I'd like to get a number cleaned up significantly from you know drug dealers or drug users or whatever it's, yeah it's much better there. well I, I guess the time frame would just one year one year you don't, you don't have to go back too much further than that I mean we the problem lies as we speak we talk we ask and they don't seem to think we're important. Well, well, well they, they, don't, they don't have a license. They're not going to have a I'm not. Well, I'm not going to speak for Mr. Pereira, but I'm not voting for these licenses today. We came here for a special Thank meeting you. to try to accommodate these owners. But if they're not going to work with the city of Fort River, they're not going to have a license. And those people are going to be illegally living there. Yeah. That's it for me. I mean, I'm, we, we did this to help you guys. You know, we're here this morning to help you guys. So, so, so why don't you make ask for a motion? I, I won't make it. You know, it, 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 it get, or, or just get. Um, I, I, I would. I would have to vote on it, yeah. I, yeah. I, I would entertain a motion at this time not to renew these licenses. I, I oh, would, you're making a motion not to renew them. Oh yeah, I don't. Okay. No, I'm motion. Not renewing them. Right, motion. I mean, or, or you can withdraw them and come back. I but, think but, the important thing is, like, what do we, what do we do collectively? Yeah. As what do we do with the people that are living there? Well, I, at this time, I, the last time Frank has inspected the property. I feel as though it, it must be safe because he allowed them to remain there. Uh, what we need to do is, is clean up the past practice of doing whatever we want, how we want, when we want, 
and have the proper permits implemented and change the use of the building if need be or uh, reclassify it as a lodging house with uh, maybe more units or however they choose but uh, now that we've got their attention uh, well, you got their attention to us I'll tell you uh, M mr. prayer how about if we do this just my suggestion how about if we uh, we table this until our March 20th meeting which will give you the next 10 days to figure out this situation and we'll put it on our regular agenda but you can tell your clients very respectfully if we don't get the blessing by the, the, the building department that that um, that this is all squared away and above board and done the right way that I can just as a chairman I'm, I'm not going to renew these I can, they can tell I'd also like to see an owner here too, not not just a property manager. No disrespect for you, yeah, sure. you you a valuable role in this process, but I'd like to see a, an owner here, and um, I make the motion to table us to the March twentieth meeting. A detailed meeting. floor plan of all three properties, okay? Sure. Okay. A motion made to table to the twentieth. I'll second. Any questions on the motion? If you have none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Table to the March twentieth meeting. March 20th. Okay. Thank you for Thank your you. support, then, Mr. Chairman. Board. Next.